Yo, what's good? So, I don't know exactly what the plan is going to be for today, but my homie just got the new drone, the Air 2S. So we're going to be testing that out and I'm going to get some behind the scenes as well. So it should be pretty dope. Let's get into it. So we just got it up in the air. I had to step into the shade because it's super bright out right now, but we did throw an indie filter on the drone. Um, the scenery is nice though. If you know me, you know I love greenery and there's a lot of greenery out here. So I know the shots are gonna come out fire. So I noticed that with quick shots and master shots that I can't seem to get the 5.4K, but I can do the 4K at 10 bit. Um, but that seems to be like the only issue, unless, unless I just don't know that you can do 5.4K in those modes. But. actually going to be heading back out to Mount Charleston to get some more footage because I kind of want to get some drone shots that aren't in direct sunlight so we're going out a little bit later in the day but tomorrow's my birthday and I kind of got an idea for a photo that I want to do um, I ordered some balloons on Amazon and right now I need to get helium so that's what I'm doing right now So normally when I sit down and I talk to y'all, I kind of plan out what I'm going to say and kind of script it out so it goes as smooth as possible, but I'm going to try to wing it today. So there's a couple things that I bought um, that I want to show y'all. So this is the Tiffin Black Pro Mist 1 8th. Now I already have the 1 4th, but when I use it sometimes I feel like it's too strong. So hopefully the 1 8th can kind of fill in that gap. And if you don't know what Pro Mist filters do, they kind of soften up your image and bloom your highlights. And it just kind of helps give a cinematic look and feel sometimes. So they're super dope. All right, it's on now and you can already see the difference in the highlights in the back. So I'm liking how it looks. And so the second thing I bought is a lav mic and this is the Countryman B3. All the videos when I'm sitting here talking to y'all, I have a mic boomed up above me. But the issue is this room isn't really treated like that. So I feel like the boom mic can kind of increase the reverb in the room, if that makes sense. So hopefully the lav mic will sound a little bit better. So if we open it up, we got the lav mic on this side. And over here, there's different caps that kind of change up the sound. So I'll be playing around with that. But I do want to put it on right now so we can kind of check out the difference. All right, I got it on now. And keep in mind that this is my first time using a lav mic, so I'll probably have to tweak some things and change some things in future videos. But we'll kind of be able to hear the difference and if it's a little bit more crispier or if it's the same amount of reverb. Uh, y'all can let me know down in the comments how y'all feel. Uh, I'll probably have it hidden under the shirt in future videos if I do use it. So right now it's just out and about, but yeah. Let me know how y'all feel. <laughs> Thank you. 